Hey YouTube, uh, I did another lock sound install and this time just with the lock sound select decoder which I have halfway taped up here, let's see if I can get the tape off. Uh, I promised I was going to show another video with the KA2 Keep Alive on the select, I did it on the select direct yesterday. Uh, I did want to point out I made a mistake in the pointing out which leads it was. Let's see if I can flip this over without having to screw everything up. Kind of. Alright, that's going to be the best it is. So, I had pointed out yesterday to do the leads which I had taped over on this side. It's actually this side. And you can see I have my capacitor soldered up to these leads right here focus I don't know if I'll get it to focus that close but I've got my blue wire on this lead down here the black is uh, three leads up so one two three and it's hard to see that's because I had to burn through this uh, shrink tube but it's the, it's the third lead um, now before I had it on this side tape up there we go I had it over there and I realized that I had it backwards it's supposed to be over here so uh, lock sound select this side underneath the big chip is the correct side so I've got my ka2 keep alive there um, I went ahead and ran it and tested it all that um, I'm just gonna swap speakers now I've got my TDS supersonic mini in there but I'm going to swap it with the same thing but with the uh, extra enclosure and see if I can get more bass out of it I think that's what what uh, it's supposed to help is the bass uh, I don't know so I'll go ahead and do another track test like I did with the other video with the Bachman Alco S4 um, so I'll see you in a little bit alright on to the track test with the Baldwin VO660 it has the lock sound select and a TCS keep alive KA2 capacitor Put that on Let's go ahead and uh, move it a little bit and take it off the track and it'll only stay on for about another second or two um, I've noticed that my lock sound select direct decoder will hold out a little bit longer for about five seconds uh, this one seems to do about one second to two seconds depends how many functions I have going all right here we go watch the headlight so you see it was about a second there so it works so you can go over some dead spots in track and still have a continuous uh, movement in your locomotive. So. Alright, well stay tuned. I may have more uh, locomotive installs and whatever, more updates. Thanks for watching.